Ugh. Okay, I need to talk to people who sent this fucking stupid letter to, you know, yeah, Jason's uncle. Do you want to talk about it or should I talk about it? You can it? go for it. I don't care. I just... Why would you tell him all that fucking BS? It, 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 is, is your life so fucking small where you do everything in your power trying to get me kicked out from one place over another so you can have your laugh on and try to say that I'm some kind of problem? Like, you were telling Tommy that I was doing a bunch of illegal shit. Like, what fucking illegal shit have I been fucking doing online? Can someone tell me? I wouldn't have a channel if I was doing illegal shit. Right. But I guess, here, here, here's the news that I think they really need to hear about this letter. It failed miserably. It failed miserably. The little letter you sent to his uncle. Period. It failed. You lost. Try again to try to ruin my life. People are saying that G-Man sent a letter to his uncle. Who knows? Who knows? Apparently, he they did it. They sent it by saying they were Santa Claus from the North Pole. Tommy got excited, thinking it was a fucking letter. Christmas card. A Christmas card. Sure. To find out it was all this shit written against me. And then I had to go through questions if I did something against him or not. Like even beat and rev. Like I beat and starve him. They even put that in the letter. Unbelievable. It was Drader. Everyone's saying it was Drader. So someone I don't even know at all Someone I don't even know sent a letter saying all this bullshit. Do I have the letter? No. But Tommy said if he has the letter, he's going to give it to us. Yeah, if he didn't chuck it. But uh, he said if he knows who this guy is, he's going after him. So good luck with that because Tommy has money. So, but it failed miserably. Isn't that horrible? Isn't that horrible? That you wasted all your time and energy writing the letter out just for it to well, fail. Well, Jesus Christ, this is literally kicking two bums on the side of the street. Like, we are at the lowest point. It's complete proof of defamation of character. Yeah. Harassment, man. This is harassment. And go into people's family members? But there's a clear motive. It's to get us kicked out, which is stupid. He's my uncle, for fuck's sake. And he loves Jason. Yes, he held me as an infant. And he loves me, too. Yes, he does. Very much loves you. You're my girl. Of course he's going to love you. <laughs> There's a video of the person putting it in a mailbox. Good. We have evidence of him breaking the law and, and fucking stalking people who don't even know who the fuck he, they are. Fucking crazy psychos. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. But that's that's okay. I'm 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 going to continue making my money. I'm going to continue supporting my family the best I possibly can and 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 doing what I need to do for my well-being. And the well-being of the people who I love. This is the stupidest move ever. Yeah.
This guy must truly hate his life. I've never heard of him, so I hate to judge what I don't know, but by this action alone tells me he's a miserable human being. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to see other people miserable so he can feel better about himself. But we're already on the side of the road with nothing. Like, we're down, man. Thank you, Watermelon. You're gonna, like, gang stomp two people that are already half dead on the side of the road, man. Like, why are you doing it? To expect more to come from Rev's uncle? Really? Are you sure you want to do that? That's not smart with him. Because he knows people. Don't do that shit. Don't do that. He knows knows people. And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell Tommy exactly who did it. So he can press charges or whatever he wants to do in the situation. Fucking idiot messing with that dude. But that's really fucking psychotic to go to someone's, like, extended family like that. It's ridiculous. Like, you really are that fucking weird about people on the internet that you're going to go to their extended family members just to trash them over lies? Jenny, look up the suspect arrested in Idaho for murder. Let's change the subject. Just Came like, to Scranton, apparently. Nuts. Am I worried about the uncle starting watching my streams? What What's going to happen? He's going to see me talk to people? Yeah, what the fuck? Nothing bad happens here. He's going to see me talk to people and review fucking videos and, and play video games? Oh, my God. If the claims in the letter are untrue, it's, then it's liable. And they are untrue. I don't beat Rev. No. I don't starve the boy. No. Go away. I heard there were pictures and videos being sent to the uncle as proof. Oh my god. You really want to get that stalking thing on charge on you, don't you? Like you you don't even know who this dude is, but yet but yet you're going to go and try to contact someone that has nothing to do with you. To someone who knows nothing about you on the internet. You're a fucking idiot. Hey, what am I on? You were always asking kids what they wanted to eat. I don't understand where people get that from. I don't either. It's just lies. <laughs> they are obsessed with me, and, and they're going to get in jail someday for it. They really are, because they're messing with the wrong one this time. He hasn't eaten peanut butter in days. I haven't had peanut butter in a while. He hasn't, he's been so stuffed up with everything we've been getting yeah, from you guys that he has not been eating peanut butter. No. He's good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. He's getting a little fluffy, too. Probably. Which is good. My body does that naturally when it's cold. That's my genetics. I get a layer of fat when it gets cold. Hey. It's a thing for me. You're using your subscription emojis. Imagine having the internet pay for you to eat. It's nice. It's nice, but it's like I, people act like I'm the only streamer where this happens to, and it happens to every streamer. A lot of streamers. It's just part of the gig. Yeah, and all I'm doing is, is just trying to make money for my family so I can get a place and start my life in a very good way. 
And you want to you want to put a, a, a fucking wrench in me trying to make money for my family and, and actually support people in my family. Like, I... Why do I look so upset? Because they're stalking family members. If someone was stalking your family members, would you be upset over it? I think you would. I don't think you'd be happy about it. Well, good. You can get out of my chat because I don't need you, fucker. How about that? Fucking asshole. Go be an asshole somewhere else. So they sent letters to the attorney general that I'm lying about having cancer. What? And asking for donations for cancer. I've never asked donations for cancer at all, have I? Yeah. Right? That's what they're saying. I, I heard everything. Thank you, Drag. They act like you have a wheel of maladies that you just choose from randomly when in reality you're in pain constantly. Thank you for that acknowledgement. I am. I know, a woman has fucking marks on her fucking breasts, fucking in horrible pain in her breasts, fucking her T-cells are fucking gone, or up, or whatever it is, yeah. and, 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 and she has all the blood work for cancer, so, yeah, well you, and you never raised money for cancer, and I never raised money for cancer, never, prove it, never, never raised money for cancer. I never said Delta 8 cured my cancer. Where the fuck did you get that from? Oh it's things I need to get done. I I told Tommy, I need to get my mammogram. I need to get an MRI. Yeah. And then, um, I also need to get the surgery for the fucking... What? These marks right here. Oh, okay. They're going to be doing surgery on that. Okay. A biopsy. So, and they're probably dig deep in the fucking breast, too. Like, my mom, when she had skin cancer, they dug about two, three, four inches into her skin. Yeah, so I'm going to, I'm, a lot of my breast is going to be missing. So, like, oh my God, at the trolls, this isn't an airport, so I'll just say I'll catch you later for my own mental... I'm sorry, Ferret. Same. I'm supporting a woman who owns her faults. I'll continue to support a woman who says I want pizza. Never lies about that. Laugh out loud. She's streaming for eight hours a day for you people to nag, 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 Shani. Just be happy. Some do love and support you. Thank you, honey. So sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Like... Maybe it will fit in a bikini afterwards. That's not funny, man. A lot of the times I don't even want to think about it because it scares me so fucking much. Yeah. I wonder if people understand how it is to be this sick and mentally ill at the same time. Probably not. Like your fear gets in the way, too. But yeah, I have said several times, I'm dying. I feel like I'm dying. Because you have cancer, you are dying, technically. It's a death sentence if you don't get treatment. Eventually. Eventually. I don't. 
And sometimes when they start the treatment, that kills them. I know. And they think just because I've been talking about this for a long time that I'm lying about it. But it's like, dudes, have you not seen how many times I've been moving around and shifting and not knowing what I'm doing the next day? Like, it's... Thank you, Toxified. Even making phone calls are hard. Ugh, if you don't get it, you never will. Yeah, thank you, me too. Drader was talking about how you guys are making this a political channel and you haven't even p ever paid taxes. Like, it's his. I've never paid taxes now, according to this dude? Boy, he has a liable fucking slander case straight on his ass. You don't have to explain yourself to ignorant people. Yeah, I guess not. I guess not. They're so, like, into this, we want the answers now, 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 and it's like, dudes, I have to wait for my appointments to happen before I give you fucking answers. The last video, the last appointment I had, I missed because I was stuck in that fucking hotel with no fucking car. Exactly. Now I have to wait another fucking five months. So fuck you at judging me of how my shit is going. A lady in PA is in jail now for claiming they have cancer. Just pray. What the fuck? I'm like literally in the middle of trying to get all this stuff assessed. Yeah, I know that. Watch the video or something. I hate people. I don't know when my next doc appointment is because I'm waiting for them to call me and have been for days now. Actually, we should probably call them because I'm sick of waiting. Yay, we got a hold of them. I think they were closed for the week because of Christmas. Probably. Yeah. But we got a hold of them. Okay. So my next doctor's appointment for the breast, the breast cancer stuff is at uh, January 10th. So... January 10th is when I'm be going for the next appointment for the breast cancer stuff. So we'll see what happens after that. So hey dollies. <laughs> what happened to the five months it's bit okay think of think i'm not lying okay i was waiting for a phone call from my doctor for an appointment they're putting it sooner because of how i am okay so fuck you <sighs> but my last appointment was supposed to be in october so it's been a while so shut up Yeah, I hope they give me some news about it. They definitely are going to be scheduling me for a biopsy and mammogram and all that fucking shit. At that, I know this appointment, they will be scheduling me for everything for that. Should, 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 I, should I make a live stream at the hospital when I get my biopsy? Be like, yeah, I'm going in for breast biopsy. You can't ever rely on doctors to call you back. Lesson learned. Yeah, exactly. I was like, fine, I'm sick of waiting. I'm calling you back. That's what I did. I wasn't mad at anyone. Oh, three meat extra cheese pizza. But what I've been told in um, my breast cancer support groups that I've been going to, they've been saying as soon as, like, it usually goes fast after this point. 
it goes by fast after this point, after they get the mammogram and everything done. They said it would. I hope so. Thank you, me too. Must be a Schenectady thing. Yeah, Schenectady. You're going to have pizza tonight? Where are you going to go, drag? Doctors' offices don't work that way? What, that I've been told by breast cancer survivors? And people who are going through breast cancer, that usually speeds up at this point? <sighs> I'm going to go through the treatment and everything, and I'm afraid of hell of what it's going to be like. <sighs> no, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, I didn't say I didn't have the test for cancer. I did, and it came up positive. I have to have other tests to see where it is so they can get a prognosis. You did? Yeah. The T cells are up. You have, my wait. white blood cell is out, out of the roof, honey. You're going to see that at the doctor's. When did you hear this? When I called the doctor's last time about my blood tests. Why do you think I freaked out the way I did? I... Oh, shut up, Rudolph. I'm not soliciting money from anyone. Idiot. <sighs> well, I don't give a fuck what you, what you guys have to say about shit. That's what my doctor's most worried about. Is he, he's saying I probably have cancer, so fuck you guys. We know where it is, because it's obvious where it is, but is there other stuff is the question. Has it spread is the question. Faith? Yeah. T-cells are a sure sign. Educate yourselves. Look it up. Simple. Yeah, I know. I haven't had my mammogram yet. I'm still waiting on that one. I know, all the armchair fucking shit. I'm just telling you how my process is going. I'm not trying to deceive anyone. This is how my process is going. But the thing is, is I... I... <laughs> Uh, I know I have cancer. I just need the prognosis. I don't think you guys quite understand that. Oh, we understand. Do you understand? So you're waiting to find out how long you're going to live. So you've been diagnosed. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's learning where the cancer is exactly get it get into actually know where it is inside my body which we know it's in the breast area per se but getting to know like where it is and how how it's grown i haven't gotten to that yet that stage yet D does that make any sense how bad is the test yeah, how bad has it metastasized? That's where we are at. Yeah. So if you can't understand that, I can't help you. But that's where I am. You can go say it doesn't work that way, but that's how it's been working with me. So fuck off. Can I go through my doctor's appointments before people fucking rag on me? Oh, shut up. No, we haven't had the biopsy yet. We're still waiting on that. I've been telling you. I'm waiting on an update from the doctors. We're going to have to wait for 11 days to know the answer or any answer or anything. If, if it happens that quickly. I don't know. 
we're just going to have to wait. So leave me alone about it. I haven't had my biopsy yet. Do, 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 do they listen to the words that come out of my mouth? I don't think so. I don't think so. I said at this point right now, it should be going fast. It should go fast after this point. Because they already got the blood tests. They, they already have the visuals of it. They just need to go inside it to see. I'm sorry. There's multiple lumps, Kayla, that I have all over my breast. Big open sores all around it. So if that's what the doctors are telling me, you probably have cancer, breast cancer, and uh, what am I supposed to do? Be like, okay, I don't have it? You saw the doctor shit his face yeah. when he saw that. Yeah. He shat himself, dude. Yeah. My God, get off my fucking case over this. I'm sorry I don't have all the information I need for to satisfy you fuckers. You don't know, sir. Yeah. So. We already know anyway. Doesn't make any fucking difference. Well, I'm holding out hope that it's not horribly like the worst case scenario. It probably is. How long have I been complaining about my breasts, dude? Yeah, I know. Are they supplying transportation for you guys? We got to we got to call and get that done, the transportation yeah, thing. Yeah, I don't know how that works. You just call the back of your card, the med card. The med card. Okay. Mhm. Mm right. And they should they should be able to get you. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, man. Thank you. Me too. Blood tests, scans, etc. are normal. Scheduling a mammal biopsy, pep scans take time. They just do. Wake up, people. My dad is getting the worst run around with lung cancer. My dad just, my dad passed last year of fucking lung cancer. My mom died of cancer. Like, it's just bound to fucking happen. And I'm just, like, in this point in my life where it's just like, fuck. What the fuck do you do? I have not been claiming to have cancer for years. Shut the fuck up. I've been saying there's something wrong with my breasts for years. Fuck you. Do I have an alcohol smell without drinking? I think you are diabetic. I don't smell like alcohol. No, not at what? All. It took me like two months to wait for a mammogram. Yeah, exactly. I'm hoping they'll fucking just send me to the hospital right away and just let me get it done. But we'll find out. We'll find out when it happens. I couldn't move the fucking getting all the testing I needed for my breast cancer faster because I was constantly moving and dealing with fucking shit that people would put in my fucking bath. So I was dealing with that instead of taking care of my fucking self. And these people just want to continue to put more fucking ruts, more fucking wrenches in my goddamn path when I'm trying to take care of myself. Oh my god. Fuck you guys.
Like, seriously, fuck you guys out there. That's true, everyone keeps throwing sticks in Shani's bike wheel, then acts surprised when she doesn't get very far. No reason to get mad? Are you kidding me? You're the one talking about my personal business and invalidating what I've gone through. So fuck you. You told us your personal business, though, so we get concerned. But yet you tell me I'm a liar with my personal business. So fuck you. Holy shit. I can't explain how my fucking process goes without people saying I'm a liar, try to dig holes into what I'm saying. Nah, fuck you guys. You fucking ableist pieces of shit. Oh, fuck you, scientist Sam. I don't have to give my... You are a scientist. You should know about people's fucking privacy to their fucking medical files. But yet you're saying you give out medical files? Fuck you. I should call your fucking job, scientist Sam, and get you fucking fired for telling someone to put out their fucking personal medical records that go against HIPAA laws, you fucking son of a bitch. I'M NOT LYING! Fuck off, asshole. Go to fucking Temple more and learn how to be a good person, you piece of fucking shit. Go to Temple more, Scientist Sam. Go to fucking Temple. And learn how to be a good person. Learn how to get connected with God a little bit. Instead of being an insensitive fucking piece of shit. Thank you, Hella. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. Fuck you. And you go into the DA and saying I'm lying about a fucking uh, cancer diagnosis and shit. Well, you know what? I still have the right not to give my information over to the DA if I wanted to. Guess that. Did you know that? I have been ignoring my health because I've been so fucking depressed. I've been depressed. I was moving constantly. I didn't know where I was going to be the next day. So fuck you guys. Fuck you up your fucking ass. Thank you, Still Surety, for subscribing to your one. You subscribed for two months. Thank you. I'm not asking donations for the premise of being sick. When did I ever fucking do that? When did I ever fucking do that? I, I, I guess what? Haha, ha, you can lie about anything. Just saying. You've never once said, oh, I need money for cancer. Never. Fuck you guys. Depression is real. Amen, Shani. Thank you. Yeah, exactly, Scorpion. Why should I give my cancer diagnosis when Amber Lynn did it and you still didn't believe her and gave her hell? Shannon, you didn't ask for donations. Where are you where are you getting this from? Exactly.
No one will ever be satisfied. It'll never be enough for these trolls. No, it won't. They'll continue asking for your fucking medical papers and everything. Please prove to us or we're going to call the cops on you. Call the cops on me, asshole. I'll fucking flip my tits out for the cops. How about that? Here. You want to see? No, I don't have Delta. <laughs> Holy shit, I think we both need, you're displaying that you need it. Nah, she's good today, but people acting like they know is hilarious. I know, right? No, scientist Sam can go fight himself with his fucking dick while he masturbates. Fuck him. Yeah, let's not flash. No! Fuck me. Fuck that dude, man. Fuck scientist Sam. Yeah, that's so, it's, it's very inconsiderate. Yeah, I'll get banned for telling someone to fuck off after they're fucking constantly invalidating me and questioning me over something that I don't fully have the answers to. You want answers to something that I have, don't have the answers to. I was supposed to get all those answers on, on uh, in October, and I couldn't go. But I'm not taking donations for cancer, so what am I doing wrong? She's mad that I blocked her. Whatever, be mad that I've blocked you. I don't give a fuck. Never once, laugh out loud. Honestly, though, you've never asked for any money on a cancer basis ever. Fuck them. No, I haven't. No, I fucking haven't. Good luck trying to prove that shit. Hell, you didn't even take my advice on getting disability. I'm still working on that. That takes a long time getting disability. Years. Fuck you. Years. I don't care. We will miss you when you're gone. Thank you. I don't give a fuck. You want to be an asshole to me and fucking pressure me and shit and fucking talk shit about me and fucking say shit about me and fucking be a bitch about shit? What do you fucking expect? You think just because you donate money, you deserve every single fucking thing in my life? You deserve answers to everything? Fuck that shit, man. It takes years to get SSI. Oh my gosh, years and many denials. They will deny you over and over again. Yeah, I know. I'm so sorry, Shani, that so many people are so mean and like to say mean things when you are always honest with us. I try to be. I try to be. It took me three years to get on disability in Canada. Yeah, it takes a long time. Bullshit. Man, it's bullshit. I gave you $40 and you didn't tell me how grateful you are. I. Most of the time when someone gives me money, I don't, like, I, I, I usually say thank you. I. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Am I supposed to, like, put up with bullshit just because, like, I. Well. No. No, money does not mean I have to be abused. Yeah, I have health insurance. A no shit drag everyone trying to invalidate me today. I'm just going through what I need to... I'm just going through the motions like everyone else does. 
Sorry I don't have all the answers you want me to have. I'm sorry I'm not in the fucking hospital right now getting the fucking meds that I need. Sorry I'm not there yet. Fuck me. Get off my fucking case. My fucking body is being fucking torn up and eaten up and... There's nothing I can fucking do about it. Except wait. So, fuck everyone who judges me on this shit. I don't fucking care. I'm a good person, goddammit. I will give with no explanation and no expectation. Shani, that's a no, no, no. Don't, doing what they want for money is abusive, so please stop donating, assholes. Yeah, you're right. It's on the 10th. There is a difference between a diagnosis and a prognosis. I need a break. People are being dumb. Can someone explain in the audience the difference between a diagnosis and a prognosis? Thank you, Cat Perfecture, for explaining to people the obvious of what I've been trying to explain to people. That's the stage I'm at. Thank you, Cat. Thank you for explaining that. It's not lying, it's just I don't know where I'm at. But thank you, Cat Perfecture. I'm glad I could help. The unknown is scary. It is. When did I claim that I had cancer? I said I'm being tested for it. I said my doctor's worried about it. I said this is how breast cancer does look like. I, I the doctor, I, I, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, okay? Fuck you all. Like seriously. You're getting all mad at me over shit that I don't even know. Thank you, Me Too. It's not a lie. It's a process. If anyone knows anything, it's a long process. Super exam... Fuck. Oh, go away. Just be an asshole somewhere else. A diagnosis precedes a prognosis. Miriam Webster. Thank you! Oh, fuck. You want me to give all these answers and I don't even have the answers? Why can't you just let a girl breathe and not constantly remind her every five minutes of the little like Thank you guys. <sighs> like what if I, what if my prognosis is bad? What if it is really bad? 
that's something that you've come to when you come. I don't want to hurt you like that. That's already gonna happen, honey. I love but you. But I can't. I love you. <laughs> now you're twelve. You just have been sick. You've probably been <laughs> sick a long time, honey. Like years. I think. It's not good. I guarantee it's not good. I think I haven't been taking care of myself. No. It has been depression. It has been depression. Yeah. It's been depression and taking care of everyone else and not myself for years. Being afraid of actually getting the prognosis is another thing. Mm -hmm. That fear stops you from wanting to even go further in that. Yeah, of course. I'm fucking scared. And I'm treated like shit every day for it. <laughs> My dad died of cancer last year and my mom died this year of cancer so like and it's almost always because they're in denial and they're afraid of what's going to reveal you're not alone in that thank you I'm afraid. Because I know I haven't been taking care of myself. I was supposed to get that fucking... MRI in Colorado and I didn't get it. You remember that? Yeah. I didn't get it. I know. Because I was too afraid. I know. I know. It doesn't make me a horrible person to be afraid of doctors and diagnoses and prognoses and shit. No, it doesn't. You know, but I'm 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 forced to go to the doctor at this point because I'm I'm really bad. And yeah, I could keep my head high and, and put on a mask forever. Still doesn't take that fucking fear away. <laughs> I'm gonna have this huge fucking gap and wound in my fucking breast. I'm not looking forward to that. They're gonna cut this part out. They're gonna cut the under part right here out. They're gonna cut this part out. Imagine if you overcome it, your God's anointed, he will protect you. Thank you. Yeah, I've seen the tattoos of women if they get their... My my grandmother had both, both of her breasts removed. She had a double mastectomy when she was younger. 
And my breasts are just as big as hers were. My mom always put that in my mind, too. Like, your breasts are as big as your grandmother's. You're going to have cancer like her, I bet. Wow. She knew. She knew. You can get a boob job later. Yeah. But are these people, if I get a boob job, are they going to fucking say that I didn't have breast cancer and I, like, start a fucking, like, um, GoFundMe for getting some breast implants so I feel like a woman? Are they going to take that down and say I'm lying about it? You have every right to be scared, thank you. Don't worry about that, but I can't help but worry about that. This is probably the scariest medical crisis I ever had, and I've been fucking in denial of it for a very long time. And, and not getting the treatment I needed for it. No, they're right. It's, if you have a mastectomy, that's proof. Yeah. No, no discord for me. Ever. <laughs> do self-care? Yeah, I could do that, cat. I would have to get off here to do self-care, though. I meant worry about the GoFundMe. Those who understand will be there for you. Yeah. That's my biggest worry, though, that it spread, fellow, because I'm not feeling well. Ever. There's not one day lately that I'm feeling well. I'm always feeling sick off my ass, and you're not getting anything out of that now. Oh, you did get something. It's, it's, it's very, completely empty. It's very, very little at the bottom. <laughs> it's like empty. Very, very little <laughs> at the bottom, but there's a little cloud. It's something. You might feel something. <sighs> yeah. You haven't been feeling well for a very long time, yeah. I haven't. Go to the ER. No, I'll wait for the appointment that I have. He has all the blood tests and everything anyway. Mm -hmm. He has all the tests that I already went through already. So. C hasn't been confirmed, but it's on the differential, so it's scary. Yeah, exactly, Kat. They're 27, Ray Ray. The uncle knows for a long time I've been dealing with breast cancer issues. His sister went through that. No more smoking cigs. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. If I'm going through all this shit, I need something to calm me down. I don't know. Maybe I could ask the doctor for some, like, anti-anxieties or something for this time. 
and get some benzos. He lost the battle at 29. I'm sorry, pillow. You think it's a good sign that they didn't rush me into any scans? I don't know. Get some Xanax. <laughs> Fuck off with the maintain and hygiene shit. My hygiene is fine. You can totally do that. They will sometimes prescribe one or two pills of an anti anxiety meds to help on the day. Yeah. God bless you, Chobis. Not everyone with BC loses a boob, and now they will put in implants during the same surgery. Yeah. Hydrazine. Yeah, but that's... Fuck that shit, man. I fucking, like... I don't like the antihistamines. Dealing with my anxiety. As much as I like benzos dealing with my anxiety, benzos with anxiety will actually calm me down. Antihistamines with fucking anxiety will just put me to sleep. And then it's back. So I, I, I personally, for me, I don't agree with the antihistamine thing so much with anxiety because I like benzos better. Give me a fucking diazepam, okay? I need a fucking diazepam. I know, I hate it too, Ugg. <sighs> you know why I scratch, Nick? Can, can, can the people with fibro please explain why people with fibro, like, scratch a lot? We, we get this, sort, this thing called parathesis. Or is it parathesis? Par parathesis, I think that's what it's called. And, and basically, it's itchiness all over your fucking body. If, if it doesn't matter if you're clean or not, you're going to be itchy. It's called fibro itch. It's a real fucking thing. Girl, no shame. I didn't know you knew. <laughs> yeah. It's nerve pain. I even scratch from my anxiety. Yeah, exactly. See, that is one good thing about the hydroxycine is 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 with the antihistamines is it does help you with the fibro itching. Thyroid does that also, itchy skin. So does menopause or perimenopause. <laughs> I'm not an addict. You could keep trying to put that in the narrative, but I'm not an addict to anything. Understood. Thank you for explaining. I didn't know, but you said, why am I so itchy in a video? So I didn't know this. Now I do. Yeah. Def, not an addict. No. That's true, Sven. After my pain is manageable, I'll be able to... No, I don't know if I'll be able to drive. It's my flexing of my... My, um... My ankles, that's the problem. I heard they made an arrest in Scranton. I could have died. I could have got that dude could have ki easily came here and killed us. Probably. Huh? Hello, Jesus. <laughs> For real, you could say one what you like about Shani, but an attic is one thing she never has been. No. Uh -uh. It's not. I've never been addicted to anything really in my entire life other than soda. Uh -huh. Here you go. 
Soda, okay? That's my addiction. <laughs> I need a sip of soda right now, in fact. Yeah, because a shower and brushing my teeth will take fucking body fucking pain away. I'm sure it will. You have a hygiene issue, and you have a ban issue right now. So fuck off, asshole. I don't need your fucking bullshit. I deal with enough fucking bullshit every goddamn day. I don't need your fucking bullshit. Coffee is my number one addiction. See? Don't I have any cups? Now you're fucking just fucking ragging on me because I'm fucking just drinking out of the goddamn two liter? If you want me to get your cup. No, I don't want to use a fucking cup. If I want to drink out of fucking two liter, I can. Okay? I can be white trash if I want to. Who are you to judge? <laughs> Same coffee and cheese. Oh yeah, there's another addiction of mine is cheese. Well, no, it's not much of addiction anymore. I don't eat as much cheese as I used to. No. You like your pizza. I do. I like my pizza. It has cheese. <laughs> Have I checked my iron? Oh, yeah, my iron's always fucking low. <laughs> That's neither here or there. <laughs> I'm always anemic. What are you addicted to? Drag sex. <laughs> oh yeah I definitely have edema in my legs you can see it, it's pretty obvious it annoys me when people think fat people can't be anemic right Pella like I get br like you can tell like I get bruises like all over my legs when I'm like really fucking anemic and I'm like Jason I think I'm gonna need some red fucking meat <laughs> <laughs> I've always had an iron problem. Always. That's just a genetic thing. My mom had an iron problem, too. <laughs> what? This? This? Right here? Oh, it's going away. It's not... Anywhere as bad as it used to be. This is yeah. That's yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, this is heal healing. A lot better than once. Yeah. Yeah, my shit was always wrinkled. My mom never ironed my. No, that's not. That's no. No, I I do have hypothyroidism. I have Hashimoto's. The genetic form of hypothyroidism. My grandma had it. My mom had it. I have it, my brother has it, my aunt has it, so, yeah. <laughs> Hashimoto's runs in your family, too? Yeah. For the people who don't know what Hashimoto's is, Hashimoto's is the genetic form of hypothyroidism. That's what Hashimoto's is. I'm a registered nurse and a recovered addict going on six years. Awesome! That's awesome. I know things. <laughs> Your son had Hashimoto thyroid too? Yeah, I get my sons checked for their thyroids a lot because it's like, it doesn't really run that much in males that as much as hypothyroidism as it does in females, so I'm not so worried, but they don't have any problems. Is that right? Thank God. Yep, that's true. That's true, Kyla. That's why I have my weight the way I am. It's the Hashimoto's. There's nothing I fucking can do about it. But now I'm losing weight. Counter to my Hashimoto's. Mm -hmm. I should be just constantly gaining weight. I'm not anymore. 
I'm dying. I need to get treatment bad. Just 10 more days, though, baby. Yeah. That's right. You're 10 on, more days. You're on your road now. You're on your road. Yeah. Okay. You do this. You have hemorrhoids? Oh, man, those suck. They're itchy, too. Oh. oh pooping, with, pooping with hemorrhoids are the worst. Feels like a freaking like glass going right through your freaking anal wall. Oh. Ah, oh, it's awful. Well. Wow. Giving birth to William gave me fucking hemorrhoids. Right. Of course, he was almost a ten pound baby, and I pushed him out in three pushes. So that would that would do it. Yeah, that would do it. That would do it. <laughs> Where's Ted? I don't know where Ted is. Probably working. Mm -hmm. Radioactive iodine changed my diet completely. Now you're med free and no issues. That's awesome. Uh, 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 Alex Jones actually has a good iodine. Yeah. Thing. Uh, what is it called? X2. X2, yeah. Survival Shield. Yeah, you should look into that manifest. X2, Alex Jones sells it, but it's really fucking good iodine. Yeah, it is. It really does help give you some energy. Big time. Someone said run rev because oh. I'm I'm harming you so bad right now. Oh my god, yes you are. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Alex Jones has a bunch of supplements that are really good. But does it turn the freaking frogs gay? No, that's the water turning the frogs uh, gay. Uh, <laughs> true. Oh, you take kelp for your iodine. Oh, that's actually a good idea is kelp. Get those greens. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got something. Crunch. I know. Yeah, I do. Oh. Oh, you have the greatest hands ever. You're my best. Oh. Oh. My bad. Oh, my bad. I love you. I want to cuddle with you forever. Yeah, forever. Yeah. Cuddle forever. Hmm. I'm okay with that. My bad. You're so sweet. I am. I am. Mm. Mm. We could fall asleep in each other's arms again. Yeah, we could do that. You're cuddly. I want to be a cuddly boy. You are a cuddly boy. Now I want to lay down and cuddle. Good. Mm. Makes me feel better. Warm. Mm. Comfortable. Mm. Mm. We do still have a chat, though. We do. I'm sorry. Uh, you just feel so good. You feel better. I love the cuddles. Thank you. The best cuddles. Channy's the best cuddles. You said, I'm sorry before presenting your hemorrhoids to your doctor. What? Holy shit. <laughs> Are they dangling? I love these lace curtains, too. They're pretty. Where are they from? Oh my God, who knows? Uh, this is the same thing that's been up here. I mean, taken down and washed and stuff, but like 72, 70s? 72? 70s. I love 70s shit though. Yeah, I know. This does, it gives you a 70s vibe, doesn't it? A bit. It does. Yeah. Like the colors and everything in this. I love the pastel this. pink. I love, 
Okay, I love, 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 love this place. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. I really wish I, I should have kept it. You should have kept it for your wifey. But I was going to sell it. I was. I was going to sell it. My, my mom's eye. friend made her black lace for her living room. Oh, that sounds wonderful. You think I'll be hosting any subathons next year? I don't know. Maybe. Subathon. Explain why what is gray. <laughs> Can you explain why it is gray? What is gray? It. Yeah, something tells me he's probably talking about my cooter bits, and it's not gray, but okay. What the hell did people say? It had must no, the they the say that no, they say that to women to make them feel insecure about their ghibli parts. Well, I knew it was that about it's gray, but it's not gray. No. It's burgundy red wine. I know, color. right? That's what the color. It's burgundy red wine. Okay? Ah, uh, enjoy yourself. A girl has no name. Anyone want to chip in for a coffee thon? Oh my god, that would be amazing. Energy, Dunkin energy, Dun Duncan stream, Ugh. energy, energy. Fan thinks Kim admitted Pete dumped her in 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 new interview. Oh, he dumped her. Pete Davidson wow. dumped Kim. He's like he's going for kings. Well, no, like, no, no. He's BPD. My curtains are gray. That's gray. No, dude, they're white. Yeah, it's the light. You can't. It's the light. You can't tell. Over there, you can kind of tell. The way, they're very white. Crisp and white. <laughs> I got the Golden Lulz account again. That means say yes. Maybe. Uh, G-Man took my trophy. G-Man took my trophy. Like, and he, he he's wants. saying it's his. That's the funny thing. He took the trophy and he's saying it's his. No, he wanted that thing. Yeah, he wanted it. Why? It's another piece of Shani and Rev memorabilia. So weird. Oh no, your husband's getting on your nerves. What is he what is he doing to get on your nerves? Mania could break up a marriage if you don't keep it in check, man. Michael Rappaport even says <laughs> that. That's right. <sighs> Mr. Banana Hammock himself. How am I feeling right now? Well, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm tired because I got angry. And I kind of want a nap. Coffee would be good, though. But I know as soon as I lay down, my, pa my, my back and hips will fucking just be worse, so... No. You're just going to be in pain. It's like... No, nah, just knock me out at this point. Just knock me out. Let me just, just be sleeping all the time. I'll just sleep through the pain. Okay. <laughs> I'll just dream the same thing I've been dreaming about for months now. I don't know what to dream. He's trying to lecture me on code what he works for, and I can't express to him that I never understand it. Oh, Jesus. Just just do what I did to Jason about the fucking magic cards and be like, dude, <laughs> I don't care. You don't understand. Exactly. I do not fucking care. I will not ever fucking care. And you're just going to have to accept that. You got to get that out of the way. just a hindrance otherwise you know <laughs> it's like dude okay listen i don't care i don't give a shit it reminds me of something i hate anyway because <laughs> you hated you hated doug playing magic right i did you hated it 
there you go. It reminds her of her ex, too, <laughs> on top of it. So, it reminds it. me of the sperm donor. They're just over here. They'll stay here. It's the missing cards anyway. It doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> I you get. can do whatever you want with the cards. I gave the I just don't want to be a part of it. Right. And that's fine. There's plenty of couples that do things and have hobbies that their other spouse doesn't do. Yeah. And I, I, I encourage you to do something that you, that, you know. No, I, I, no, I had too many hobbies. Okay. I had too many to collect too many things. So it's good that I'm like, I don't give a shit about it no more. It's, it's good for finances too. Well, it. there's that. About wasting money on cardboard. Yeah, exactly. Wasting money on cardboard. It is. Their piece is a cardboard. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> what an idiot. Do you see me stuffing my face all the time with fucking sugar, idiot? eat some foods. God, I'm just blocking that person who fucking tells me what, what is, how things happen with my body. So fucking annoying. <laughs> Opinion on Sour Patch Kids? I'm not a big fan of them. They cause me really bad heartburn. <laughs> heartburn. So that's a no for me, dog, on the Sour Patch Kids. I loved them when I was younger, not now. Heartburn. Heartburn. Absolutely. It sucks. To be fair, though, Shani, anyone who asks about his cards and streaming, you never bash it. You stay silent. I admire that. That NYR, <laughs> that New Yorker me, I'd wah wah fucking the magic, bro, Leffa. <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm just, hey, I'm just being polite. <laughs> and no, we shouldn't talk about it because it's your fucking stream. So no, but if you want to talk about it, you can. No, I got a channel to talk about it if I want to. This is your channel. You fucking hate magic, so we're not going to talk about magic cards. Stupid. <laughs> I'm just, I just, I just, I just become patient and, and just, you know, when he talks about it, I just... Yeah, the last thing I'll say about kind it. of go into you know. Yeah, well, the last I zone out. Yeah, the last thing I say about it ever is for any guy that likes cartoon uh, girls, look up Liliana of the Veil. Vale. That's the last thing I'd ever say about magic. That's it. They got a big thing, a door <laughs> thing of her that you can put up on your door. It's pretty awesome. But us OGs adore you too, Rev. Ha, BBD, here we go. Hate to live and live to hate. <laughs> oh my god, I really dislike magic. I get it, Shani. I, I it's nothing against yeah. him. No, it's cool. It's it's a very dork thing, but it has bad memories for you. There's bad memories with it. I get that. Yeah, sitting in college being bored off my ass. Well, I mean, dog. While know. watching all these guys, nerdy fucking nerds, play magic while... Did you meet Doug in college? Yes. That's where you met them. Well, no, technically. Huh. Technically, we met at the Corn and Lincoln Park concert. Oh, okay. But we didn't talk to each other, per se. You just looked at each other. We just looked at each other and said hi to each other because I I recognized a couple friends from college who went to the court concert also, my friend Chuck. Okay. And, and then... A few days after that, we went to college, and we were ta I was, like, talking about the corn concert, and then Chuck's like, yeah, I, yeah, we were talking about the corn concert yeah. with Chuck, and, and Doug came along, and he's like, you know, I was there, too. He's like, really? I don't remember you. Shit. That's crazy. So you did meet him at that concert? Though. I did. That's Technically, I met him. It was in Charlotte, North Carolina, but we were living in um, the Sanford area, which is my, like two three hours away okay so <laughs> that's crazy you're in charlotte awesome you remember that corn and lincoln park concert back in what 2003 with snoop dogg i was there <clears throat> <laughs> 
What you wear? Goth? Well, it's no shit. It's a corn concert. Of course I'm going to wear my goth. Mm. I would love to see you. You went? You were there? No way. Oh my god, we went to the same fucking concert? That's cool. That's the shit! That's really, really, really cool. <laughs> That's the shit. We both were at the same concert together. That's awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> the little world we live in. I know, right? <laughs> I was I was in the lawn too. I wasn't in the seat and I was actually, you know, in the back with it, with all the mosh pits and shit. Yeah, they had some mosh pits. They almost tried to bring me and one of my sisters like, no! <laughs> I bet you're so hot. It was my sister, my, my brothers, and my sister's boyfriend that went. Lawn used to be like twenty dollars, so we could go to virtually every concert. Yeah, dude. Not like that now, though. How much are they charging now for lawn? Oh, uh. What does that say? Yo, uh, yo can wolf. You paid 80 to be in the lawn seats for Incubus. That's bullshit. Bro. They're screwing everybody. The inflation, everything. Just leave. Just really crazy. That's nuts. That's bullshit. 80 bucks for lawn? Nah. Nah, man. Yeah, I did. I I went goth. Of course, it's a corn concert. Fuck me. Metallica tickets are twelve hundred. Of course they would. There have always been fucking shysters with money. <laughs> oh my god. You fucking hate Fuck them. Metallica. They're ripoffs and they're just overrated in my opinion. Yeah, I said it. I said Metallica's overrated. There, it's out. I don't give a shit if, as long as as long as nothing said about typo negative. I don't care. <laughs> don't don't be dissing typo. Then you got a problem. <laughs> no, I thought we were talking about a different time. No, we are totally talking about this. Was back in two thousand three. This corn concert. It was corn, um, Lincoln Park, and Snoop Dogg. Year I graduated, 2003. It was great. It was a great freaking concert. That's insane lineup. I know. Yeah. And we, me and lovely lady, we went to the same concert. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. You're, I'm 05. Was it? No, it wasn't 05. Are you sure? No, it definitely was not 05. It's like 2003, 2004. Yeah. Right? I'm old. <laughs> oh, you mean graduating. Oh, okay. So you graduated in 2005. I graduated in 2001. Mm. Mm -hmm. Concerts just aren't my thing too loud. Yeah. There's that, but I love seeing corn. I would see corn again, too. And it's only been two years since I've seen the last corn concert. I would go again. <gasps> Me, too. You saw Willie? You're the shit. That's awesome. Fuck yeah. That's really awesome. 
Oh, you saw them at Mayhem Festival in PA with Rob Zombie? It was Mayhem. awful. Oh, no. That's rough. I hate to say it. I love corn, but Rob stole the show. He usually does. He's I've never I've never gone to a Rob Zombie concert. No, me neither. But he likes coming to Duluth a lot, and everyone rags about it, so. Rags about it? Brags about oh, it. Oh, brags about it. Okay. So, yeah. He's he's good in music, bad in, in, bad in movies. Mm -hmm. It's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rob should stay with the music. Yeah, it's definitely. No, what what I love about Corn now is is um 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 oh fuck, What's the lead fucking singer's name. Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis. He's another Davis. We may be related to him. Probably. But Jonathan Davis, he was so happy in the concert. I've never seen him so happy ever. He always looked so miserable. Now he looks really happy in life. Yeah, he does. He actually smiles. He, yeah, he actually smiles, uh -huh. and he's, like, happy. Yeah. It's amazing. You gave away the concert tickets? You were going to see Korn and Metallica? Bro. Bro, why did you do that? Bro. Oh, yeah, that was a tour back in the day. That's legendary. Korn and Metallica. Back in 97, I would have been like, yeah, I, I was what, what, 13, 14, 13, yeah, 13, 14. Yeah. In 97. Dude. Oh. That, that's when they would be performing, what, Life is Peachy and. Yeah. The first two albums, man. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's the best. The first two albums. It was corn, slip lot, fly leaf, and evanescence. You okay? So it was a couple years ago. So it wasn't Lacey. No. As I saw fly leaf when Lacey was doing it. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, I saw them in concert with uh, uh, Brink and Benjamin and um, uh, Three Days Grace. Great concert. Yeah, that sounds. I was more interested in exploring the city and partying on New Year's Eve. <sighs> Okay. I mean, it is New York. I mean, but... What? No, it was PA. No. No. Where is Mayhem? Philly or Pittsburgh? Mayhem? You mean Mayhem Festival? Yeah. I don't think it's the same place every year. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, it's a show. It's a movie. It's all over. Mayhem. No, it was when Lacey was in the band. Oh, okay. So you saw Lacey, too. Oh, it, it always takes place in Pittsburgh? Okay. I didn't even know that. I did not know that. Finger 11? They were they, they were the shit back in the day. That's old school. The only Finger 11 song I ever knew of was Kane's theme song from WWF. Hi, which, Watermelon. Which is good. Hi, Pretty Girls. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was like a thing like the Warp Tour. That's what I thought. It goes all over the place. That's what I thought it was. But maybe not. Maybe I don't know. We should go to a Mayhem concert. That would be fun. Whatever. It's like that shit you do in high school, literally. That's like that's that's what all the kids are talking about in high school. Really? Mayhem, warp, warp, warp tour. Yeah, mayhem. That, that's like, oh my god, it's like two weeks away. I can't wait. It's that. That's it was everything. They were probably Concerts. talking about getting their pot and fucking opium yeah, and shit. Yeah, definitely hanging out, partying. Drinking, definitely drinking lots. PA, uh, PA is alcohol. God, they're going to ruin Harry Potter. They're ruining Harry Potter. They're ruining Harry Potter. Whatever. It was a good series of movies. They're ruining Harry Potter. I got to pee now. Yeah, we should see if the Warp Tour still exists. Give me, could I see the phone? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to look that up. Fuckers. This is horrible. Those were beautiful movies. Now they're going to ruin them and fucking make them about money. That's true. It's always about fucking money. Fuck you, Disney. Fuck you, Warning Brothers. Hate yeah. you, Bollywood. Yeah, it's the Warped Tour, by the way. Not just Warped Tour. It's the Warped Tour. Uh, and it's put on by Vans. Warped Tour. Uh, ah, it ended in 2019. 
Uh, it was a traveling rock tour that toured the United States plus two or two uh, plus three or four stops in Canada annually each summer from night from 1995 until 2019. It was the largest tra traveling music festival in the United States and the longest running touring festival to date in the North America. Wow. Uh, goth? What about goth shit? No, they are not. Who's not goth? Yeah, lo lovely lady. It ran for a long time. I mean, it's like the longest running show in history, I guess. Uh, okay. Oh. Less type for me when the cursed child came out. Oh. The cursed child. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Careful, baby. Ow. <sighs> snap. Yeah, I know. You had a snap. <sighs> Babies. That was my knee. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Let me catch up my breath. <sighs> There's another symptom of cancer. Yeah, I know. <sighs> yeah, C snap or knee snaps. How many times you go to a warp to her lovely lady? I I had friends that went to it like every year, pretty much. You ever gone to one? No. I didn't go to con I didn't do anything, man. I was fucking in my house. I, I, I do regret that. If there's any regrets, it's not, like, not partying or anything per se. I probably would have screwed it shit. <laughs> so it kept me clean, you know? It did keep me clean, not doing any of that stuff. But that's like when you do it. You're supposed to kind of do that shit when you're in high school. It's like, Whatever. I usually went to the weenie roast to see ICP. Oh my god, that's the shit. <sighs> <sighs> to reset. Yeah, snap. Oh, okay, there we go. Back to normal. Not with me. All the deaf tones, man. I never said I had lung cancer, did I? Oh my god, you met Chino. That's the shit. That's the shit. That's the shit, man. You met Chino. Chino Marino. Fucking rules. Oh. He's got one of the best voices, like, ever, I think. I love Chino's voice. Oh. I'm ready for a nap, too. My baby girl. I yelled and got upset. Now I'm tired. I know. He's gross. He signed your beer mug. Dude. That's the shit. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. <clears throat> oh. Oh. My baby. Oh. Shaggy too dope, bro. <laughs> I had an I had one ICP shirt. And it was like it was just two clowns and it didn't even look I don't think it was an official shirt. But I got it at Joe Nardone's Gallery of Sound in, in, in Dixon City. And uh, it was just two clowns, and it said it abbreviated ICP. It was a long sleeve black shirt with just two clowns on it. I don't think it was official merch at all. But, I, I ha yeah, I was into them for a short time. I That had to be a great day. Last tour, Jay's... Oh, really? Jay's health isn't well. ICP? No snow here at Eddie Murphy. Or, sorry, Eddie McGlynn. McGlynn. I don't... Why did I say Eddie Murphy? That's bizarre. I'm sorry. Whoa. Reese's Cup, the best. Thank you, whoever sent that. It's amazing. Plenty of Fago at the con. Fago! At ICP concerts, they got Fago. Is that right? That's amazing. That's cute as shit. That's amazing. That's, that's, the, that's ghetto soda. That's perfect. McClinton. Okay, gotcha. 
That's a, it's a beautiful name. That's like Gaelic. Violent J is not well. That sucks. I wish him uh, clown love. Yeah, man. Clown love <laughs> all the way, man. Diet root beer because it's cheapest. You got it, man. <laughs> They're from Michigan. Okay. You have a few bottles from the shows? That's amazing. <laughs> I... I don't know. I was into I was into them a little bit, but like I couldn't really even name a song. I I know it's they got all those the concept albums with the cards and stuff or whatever, Joker cards or whatever. I'm not a juggalo, but I appreciate their art. They're yeah yeah. I was I would never have called myself a juggalo. No, there's a juggalo in the chat. Nice. I love juggalo. Strange juggalo. You got the tattoo and everything. You're not a proper juggalo unless you get the tat. Yeah. And you gotta <laughs> you gotta wear paint on the face every now and then. You do, man. If you're a juggalo. Now I, I I had I had a friend when I was freshman in high school, I was friends with this kid his name was Joe Haig, that was a senior. Yeah, I was a, I was a freshman, he was a senior and we he, we hung out and we, we he would like feed me all kinds of fucking metal music and shit. Joe Haig. And uh, he had a septum piercing. He was a cool kid. But uh but but he was into them, man. He loved them. Like he he knew all the lyrics. To, he was he was like an aspiring white rapper kid type dude, you know. You love the name Watermelon. We didn't give her the name Watermelon though. She was already named Watermelon when we got her. Yeah, she's a girl. I just couldn't change her name. You see the I baby? Was so cute. There's the baby. She's looking out the window. You see her ears? She's so cute. You just see the back of her head and her little ears. <laughs> I'm going chicken hunting. Oh, I want some chicken. Chicken run. If anybody wants to hook up Shanny with some food, man, you could send her something if you want. You guys are really awesome, you know? It's like, here you go, here's your dinner taken care of. I always you. eat chicken. Yeah, you have chicken fingers underneath here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Your ranch. Hey, I'm... I'm a tired girl right now. You you hit the wall of tired. Yeah, my fucking emotions got the best of me, man. <laughs> He's got it. I, I was triggered. He regrets the ICP tat on his chest. The cat love. <laughs> my son has an ICP tat on his chest. He's 40 now and he regrets it. <laughs> Damn. I, but I think a lot of people are feeling that way about their Kanye tattoos. Oh, yeah. They're they're like, yeah, I got to get this off of me. I'd never regret getting a Juggalo tattoo. That shit's awesome looking. <laughs> yeah, it's cool stuff. You're having Chinese delivered? That sounds yummy. You think the art of ICP is cool enough to put on your body permanently? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah. The fucking dude with the fucking axe is fucking awesome. All right. I always appreciate those tats. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I wouldn't. I'd think it was super hot if a chick had an icy. Food. No, we got chicken fingers yesterday. I just didn't eat them. I'm... No, I will admit, like, if a chick had, like, a full-length, huge, like, ICP tattoo on her body, I'd be like, wow. Like, yeah, that would make fucking me... fucking awesome. Could you put on some face paint right now? Like, wow. <laughs> some juggalo chick. I think Jamie's got a juggalo tattoo. She's got something ICP. Yeah, she's in. she loves them. I think she does. She is a juggalo. I, that, that's another reason I loved her. Juggalos are the best people, man. They're cool. What a mullin. It was a mullins. He baby go. Yeah. Hi, baby. What's your deal, Flu? Huh? Row! 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 <laughs> That's what she's saying, Will. Row! Uh, little baby girl. Yeah. You know, Megan Hiltz tried to come on the stream and say she misses us? Yeah, I, I, I saw that. And I, I'm, I'm like... Aren't you the same bitch who claimed that I did meth? Yeah. When I didn't? Yeah. 
Fuck you, lady. You ain't going in my life no more. <laughs> like, you can't burn bridges. Right? Yeah. But. Yeah, mess. Okay. I've never done that shit in my entire life. This is so weird. You slander somebody horribly. I know. In the public. It, yeah. And it, then it, you it, come back to them and go, here I am. I miss you. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> Excuse me? No, I'd never done meth. Fuck that shit. That's a bad deal. That's awful. Fuck that. I've seen people on that shit. They're all like twitchy and weird, like fucking zombies and shit. Fuck that. Yeah, that's bad stuff, man. It's not important to me at all. You don't want none of that. No. I like to stay natural. Do that move again? The... <laughs> like <Yeah>. that? <laughs> That's some thriller shit. Thriller night. Nobody's first off. Say. She'd be tiny. Let's be real. Even sh my face would be horrible looking. Have you seen people on meth? I think that Megan Schick told people you guys were doing meth and that you had prostituted out one time for it. <laughs> that sounds like self projection. Maybe that's on uh, her. Yeah, that's what she does. Yeah, that's what she does. Probably. Probably. You're spreading your legs for meth, Megan. Come on. You gotta go to rehab, man. Don't say no, no, no to daddy. Know what I mean? Go to rehab. It's sterile and disgusting after you've done it. <laughs> That's where that comes from. What a bitch. That's oh, you miss me now after talking all this mad shit that's untrue about me? Oh, you could stay missing me, honey. No, no, meth. You ain't getting in my little circle. Uh-uh. Lie about me over that shit. Not when you know how I fucking feel about meth. Not methadone, meth, meth, crystal meth. Yeah. Crystal meth. Yeah. Which is, as far as I understand it, to be homemade cooked chemicals. No, nah, man. Is that what it is? No, nah, man. I, I don't... I don't know what it is. Don't ask me what it is. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I know it's cooked in people's kitchens and their kitchens blow the fuck up. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't want that shit. Oh, see, there's different kinds. I didn't even, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I have no desire to ever go down the road of smoking something that makes people act like that. Like, I have no thanks. All I know about meth is from Breaking Bad. I haven't even watched that yeah, show. Yeah, we haven't even seen that show. Yeah. They make it with jet engine fuel? I've heard that. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's insane. And they put that in their bodies? Holy fuck. It's like, it's like with heroin, they use fucking horse manure in with the fucking... With the fuck? Yeah, they insert the fucking heroin in their fucking veins with horse manure. You're gonna die. It's insane. You're gonna die. That's insane. Oh, yeah, Crocodile. I, I know all about Crocodile. Oh, yeah, dude. It, like, it, like eats, eats your, up your flesh and shit. That's the, No. Yeah. Yeah, their, their flesh is rotting. I hear they use dihydrogen monoxide to cut it, which can cause you to drown. Oh, my God. Wow. This is insane. Why do people... What? No, lovely lady. No. Yeah, I've heard this type of stuff. It's made with really toxic shit. No. And you're smoking that. Or or you're in, like, Can you do, shoot? do, do you don't, shoot it? I don't, I don't know how so. to use it. Not meth, man, no. I don't think so. I think That's it's, insane. You smoke it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. It's a pipe, like a glass pipe. Some people smoke it. I don't know anything about it. So I, some people smoke it in, like, a light bulb or something. Like, I don't, fucking. That's insane. It's like freaking when, when, um, when fucking, uh, Trump said to insert fucking, fucking household cleaners into your fucking body. Bleach. Yeah, uh, put bleach in your fucking blood. See what happens. 
Right. That I. I was yes, thinking. meditation is mentioned in the Bible. Period. She's on methadone for being addicted to heroin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure oh. she told us that when she wow. was friends with us. Then why should you trust anyone who's an ex heroin addict or meth addict? They always lie. Like they, if they're on coke. Or they're on meth, or they're on heroin, they'll lie. Their whole fucking dis. Like, I don't even fucking. Like, nah. I don't even like being around people who do that shit. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, my God. Drag. Holy shit. Pill addicts lie too? Yeah. Are, are you inserting something in there that I'm a pill addict for having subscription drugs? Oh. Psychedelics are referenced in the Bible? I'm not quite sure about that, Eddie. Where? I never read that. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I know you. I know, baby girl. It's a watermelon. Hey, go. Hi, baby. Here. I'll go there. Well, come here. What's your deal, Flu? Uh -huh. Oh, is that so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. If you say so. <laughs> huh? What's your deal, Flu? Yeah, exactly. Huh? <laughs> exactly, me too. Do they put dihydrogen monoxide in soda? Wait, let me see. Uh, did she? I never... Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel colors, sugar, phosphoric acid, caffeine, citric acid, natural... It doesn't say anything like that. If she sent them to me, Stephen Andrews, i never seen them. i never seen them. Ew. Desperate little girl. No, I, 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 it, it's probably in my inbox and I just deleted it, you know, because I know it's a troll. <laughs> I think she probably did befriend me because she really liked Rev. I think that's what it is. That's what a lot of people said. Yeah. They were like, watch out for her. She's just doing this to get to Rev. Like, okay, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck? Good luck trying to separate people who've been friends for over a decade. Right, and then intimately involved for five years. They're, yeah, well, good, when, good how, luck with that. Four years at the time, I guess. Why do I have to fight a chick to keep my man? He's fine the way he is. I'm happy. I like Shanny. <laughs> I like you. Thank you, I like you. See, that's why it works. Uh, I'm not fighting her. Ridiculous. I don't need to fight her. I have my man. She needs to find herself a man. <laughs> well, like, the pursuer, the guy being pursued could just say, look, stop. I'm married. <laughs> okay. Just stop. I'm married. Okay? That's all you need to think of when you think of, I want to hit on him. He's married. There you go. I don't think people even care about that anymore. No. If you're married or not. There are people that actively want to. Don't you find that kind of predatory, how women try to push themselves on you like that? It's weird. Ashley Madison stuff. I mean, I know with guys pushing themselves on me, I find it, it I, I feel like it's predatory. Like, it's like, dude, I already told you no. Yeah, and also, like, when a guy knows that you're married and he sends you in a DM, like, hey, what's up, you know, I'm looking for a, a freaking girl, a wife, and you look like wife material. Like, that's bullshit, because you know she's married, dude. Like, what the fuck? That's very uncouth. Let's just, uh, let's not deal that way. From I am not going on Steve Wilkos' show. I ain't doing no Jerry Springer bullshit. Steve Wilko? He's... Steve from Jerry Springer, the cop dude. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. He has his own show now. Like, Jerry, I think he retired and Steve took over for him. Man, that would be a massive, insane show if they did one centered around the people that hate you. 
Holy shit, that would be insane. I, I don't think I could mentally handle that. No, it's too much. It's too much. Thinks the society women are rarely ever seen as predatory even though they are. Yeah, that's true. Can be. Can be. Just like anybody. <laughs> it was his bodyguard. But they always want to fight, physically fight on this show. Yeah, and I'm not, I don't want to do that shit. I don't know. Shanny, why can't you say your G's? I don't know, man. The G's are hard. <laughs> Steve doesn't allow fighting? Good, he shouldn't. Stupid anyway. Get fucking arrested for that shit. Oh my god, man. <coughs> that ain't worth it. I ain't getting rev his hair fix unless he wants to get his hair fixed. I love I I I actually don't dislike it anymore. It's coming in enough where it's not crazy. Like I like it, it's fine. It'll just grow out. The worst people do on that show is flash the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. Egg. No, it was, uh, what's his name? Not Ned's. It was, um. Oh, yeah, Real Stream. Real Stream fucking phony. Yeah, Ned's was in there. <laughs> I've never seen Steve with hair, actually. Has Who? he ever been on with hair? Who? Steve. From fucking Steve Wilkos. Oh, okay. Jerry Springer individual. He was his bodyguard. He yeah. Was, he was a cop, though, at the time, too. <laughs> Steve. We've read the Apocrypha, yeah. Yeah. I've read through them. Rev and Shanny versus G on Steve Wilkos. Fuck G, man. I don't want anything to do with him ever again. Fuck it. Hi, Kim. Fuck him. Uh. Ungrateful piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking control freak. <laughs> Fuck. Uh -oh. Yeah. Why was it removed from the Bible? I think it should have been in there. No. Honestly, no. Steven, no. Aw, <laughs> oh, Megan, he doesn't find you attractive. Doesn't that hurt your feelings? Oh, well, I mean, I, you're... You just, you just broke her fucking heart in thousands well, and millions of pieces. Whatever. I, I'm being honest, no. But, 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 what difference would it make at the end mm -hmm. of the day? Because it's like, you're, you're, this is after the fact that, that she has slandered Shanny so badly and, and said horrible things. Like, come on. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> yeah. You ain't gonna slander me and then say you miss me and expect me to be like, yeah, come back in. Well, that's crazy. I mean, that's nuts. You had a bunch of CPS workers come over my fucking house over your fucking bullshit, so fuck you, bitch. <laughs> she can thoroughly rot in fucking shanty prison forever. I'm done with people who treat me like shit. I'm done with it, man. I just, like, I'm fucking done. I'm not gonna be treated like that fucking like garbage for the rest of my life when I just try to be nice to people fucking done well I don't know drag there wouldn't be any kind of weirdness I mean literally if we went to a bar together and just hung out the it, it wouldn't be we would probably just talk about G plus a little bit or something drag why do you want to hang out with us anyway <laughs> I said I think it'd be normal oh uh. Predator, I don't know. But I will say, Drag, I won't tell you to climb fucking statues and fucking 
do all that stupid ass shit that G-Man did. Because I'm not in competition with anyone. And he's so fucking competitive, it just makes me fucking sick. I, like, hate competitive people. <laughs> like, like, they're just competitive for no fucking reason. They just have to feel like they're better than other people. Fuck that shit, man. I, I appreciate the sentiment, Greg, but I don't need that. It's fine. You know? I'm not competitive. I think it's pathetic being competitive, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight Jared Leto. <laughs> no need to fight Jared Leto. No need to fight Jared Leto. Don't fight Jared Leto, baby. Mm -hmm. He's got a pretty face. I wanted to destroy something that was beautiful. <laughs> ah, he got the reference. <laughs> he got the reference. <laughs> I wanted to club baby seals. I want... <laughs> Fuck. Edward fucking Norton. Tyler. <laughs> our Christmas was all right. Yeah. We make it work because we love each other. <laughs> a mandate. Favorite drink, call you Adi Adios motherfucker. Well, here's the problem. I want to drink, drink that though. shit. Yeah, Shanty might be able to do that. I, I'll drink. I'm not supposed to. No. I ain't supposed to be doing that. Exorcist reference? Oh my god. Who doesn't love the Exorcist, man? Oh. I don't need to be petting nobody's kitty, Kim. This is my wife. Do you get that? Do you understand that? I need to be petting no one's kitty. Gromos? Hey, who knows? Okay, I've gone through a lot of bullshit, and, and I'm probably going to need a time to ever want to meet someone from the internet again. Yeah. That's just the truth. That's same with me. It's it's hard. Other than watermelon, that's right, Drag. I ain't cut touching no kitties except watermelon and Gavin. And me. And, well, you too. My kitty. Yeah, your kitty. Like, people, people don't get monogamy anymore and we'll think it's so funny. No, see, yeah, like, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, questions like that, like, who would I find more attractive, Meg, Megan or Hannah Stout? Why why does that matter? They're the same type of person anyway. But, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who I find attractive because I'm, I'm with someone, okay? It don't matter. Hannah's got her problems, dude. Yeah, and I think she she had a crush on me, and 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 I like I was there for her when she was suicidal. So there's like a thing there, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, she talks shit too, man. I know. None of them say sorry. That's I know. the thing. They don't say fucking sorry for what the shit they say to me. They just say I miss you. I want to be in your life again. And it's like, yeah, okay. Well, you should have thought about what you did before you decided to go and miss me. Uh huh. Yeah. You ever question yourself from an impulsive action? Is this the right thing to do? Usually, when you have an impulsive action you want to do, it's usually not the right thing to do. Yeah. That's why when I feel impulsive, I sit on it for a day or two before I do anything. Right. You learn that in therapy, though. whatever it's it like but seriously meeting people on the internet that's like something that i'm like i don't know i don't know it's if, scary i don't know if i'll ever do that again it's scary because of that fuck face shanny has a chest or cat not a kitty okay what it hides and 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 gives out questions like yeah i guess yeah you gotta talk to me one. I have a questionable pussy. Yeah. I, I, I'm not. Some people are gonna be like, dude, is she trans? This is a really weird chat. Yes, I gave birth to two sons and I'm trans. Because that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious, Greg. 
<laughs> yeah, the, it is an 18 plus category at this point. I, I know. Probably. I don't give a fuck anymore. You let that shit go. I'll let everything go. Boy. I'm not good with women who lie to me, though. No. Nah. No. Nah. I am not good with women who lie to me because it's like straight up like triggering because of my mom, how she was like, man. Shanny and Rev after dark, yeah, drag. Yeah, without well that ran for a little bit. That's not drag, not this. Or that is drag. Sorry. You can't read. My eyes no, it's glasses. Oh, my you eyes. need Ah, uh, there's a schedule appointment we need to schedule you for. Yeah, that was you. That was you, Drag. Sorry. God. It, like, hurts my eyes to look at the screen. You want to look on the phone? No. I, uh, I'm fine. I'm sorry, baby It's fine. It's fine. It, they're saying it's hard to hear us. I don't know. Well, I'm over here laying down because my back is fucking inflamed right now. Okay. Mike Mate and rub rub his baby. That's that's the pretty much right, Drag. <laughs> Put on Mike Mate and I'll rub you. <laughs> that's pretty much correct. That's better. Okay. I'm thinking that's better. Oh, my back is fucking killing me. It's the lower back. Oh yeah, it, it's yeah, it's just because you're far away. <clears throat> All right, cool. It's better. All right, cool. Oh my god, baby. You know how I felt before I got on the Amoxicams? Mm -hmm. That's how I'm feeling right now in my hips and back. Fucking dying inside, man. Inappropriate. Uh, I try my best with the rubbins, you know. It's okay, baby. You can't help this. I want to, though. I want to heal my baby girl. Because I feel bad for you. Well, that's just inflamed arthritis. There's nothing you can do. I mean, that's perfect, Drag. Yeah. That's what you want to be doing. Reverend Rubber. Oh. <laughs> that's right. Like, I go to the hospital. What are they going to do? Give me some fucking... Yeah, no, it's not going to do shit. No. They'll either give me morphine or that other fucking drug. What the fuck is it called? I can't think of it. Um, I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, Bruh. I don't like morphine. Fuck morphine. No. Why the moment? I don't like morphine. I don't like fucking cocaine derivatives. Uh, I'm here guys I'm just like I'm not seeing the chat so I apologize Jason was answering the chat for me but I am here and I apologize for my back hurting Well, it's it's my hips and my back. They're so fucking inflamed right now. Oh. It used to be this time where they used to put me on a Viox when I felt like this. You ever had Viox? I know it got taken off the market. It got taken off the shelf and, you know. But I really, I really did like Vioxx when I was on it. It really did help with the pain. 
And then, you know, the probably like they they also like the hospital also put me on muscle relaxants too. Like it's just like all these fucking drugs. I'm so sick of fucking taking drugs. I'm so sick of fucking being in pain. I wish I was like one of those normal people in the world that could just like move around and do things without feeling like I'm being fucking stabbed to death in every way. Ugh. Oh. But see, I have never had a normal life. Nor do I think I will ever have a normal life. And I keep having the same fuck. Like, can someone please explain why I keep having the same fucking dream for months now? And basically, it's like I'm in high school, but I'm not. I'm old still, but yet I'm like going to classes and stuff. And it's like I'm always missing my classes. You know, especially, like, the English and math class, I don't seem to go to them. And then, and then, for some reason, it, like, always flashes to the beach, and then my parents are always in it, but they're always moving in my dreams. And I don't understand why they're always moving in my dreams, and it's, it's been like this for months now, the same dream. It's like I have two lives. I have my wake life, where I'm absolutely, like, in physical fucking torture every day and then I have my sleep life where I'm hanging out with my parents and my family and I don't understand why my brain is keep going this way like why am I keep dreaming about the same thing it's bizarre and it's been going on this for months now the same dream with my parents always moving and then my dad's always cooking a bunch in my dreams too like it's weird really fucking weird. Ugh. Like, why do people have repeat dreams? Is it like I'm trying to learn something and I haven't learned it? Is it my parents from heaven saying hi to me? And like, but why are they always moving in heaven? That's what I don't get. Interesting. Well, I've been telling you about this dream for months now. Mm hmm It's like I have two different lives. My my day life and my sleep life. <laughs> Cause it just continues off right where I left to the dreams. Bizarre. That's nuts. I know. For some reason I'm always in Duluth. Huh. I know. And then when my exes come into the dreams, that's mm -hmm. also really fucking bizarre. Like, why are my exes, like, like, Doug, for instance. He's always, like, taking charge in that, and I know that's, like, totally not like him. Is my brain trying to, like, I, I, like, gone through so much fucking shit that my brain is just repeating all these people that hurt me because I miss it? I don't know what it is. Like, what's causing this? Repeat dream. I don't know. There's times I look forward to go to sleep just so I can start dreaming about that. Mm. I have like a dual life. Maybe it's a different, maybe, maybe your dreams are from a different fucking um, planet or a different, like a different universe or something. Mm. And when you're sleeping, you're living your life within a different universe. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Right? Maybe that's what it is, what dreaming is. But I still don't get why my parents are always moving in these fucking dreams. Mm -hmm. Maybe it stems from me moving all the time when I was small and in adulthood. Maybe. Like, I need a dream expert for this one. Mm -hmm. And that's all I can really remember. But there's always, like, a beach, too. And waves in this dream. Okay. I'm always going on the beach. And I'm super skinny, too, in these dreams, too. Like, I'm fit. I look good. You know? Hmm. 
And then another aspect of those dreams is I'm always going to like this bar to like go talk to people. I like it's so weird. I don't get these dreams, baby. I don't know. It sounds like maybe you're living a life you'd rather be living on a beach somewhere, going to bars, talking to people, and you're skinny. I mean, that might be that simple. Is I want to be skinny. You want to be able to move able to around. Walk around and go to the beach. It might be as simple as that. See my parents. Yeah. Even if they're moving, eat my dad's food. Mm -hmm. Maybe. It's the life you want to live, because you're trapped in your fucking body. I'm trapped in, yeah, that could be it. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm so cold right now. I don't know why. Well, you, you heard Tommy, man. We got I'm having a cold flash. Can you talk to the audience, baby? I love you. Yeah. You're my baby. Oh. That's weird. Yeah, I think Shani's gotten, like, a couple tarot readings. Mm. What about tarot card reading? I don't know. Maybe a tarot card reading with the dreams could help. I don't know. Yeah, maybe with the dreams, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> That's a good suggestion, I guess. But it's been going on for months. There's also, like, this weird, like, video game aspect to it, too. And then there's random fucking, like... For some reason, like, I own, like, a bunch of guinea pigs and lizards and cats and stuff in these dreams, too. Okay. Like, it's so bizarre. It's, like, the most bizarre dream, like, sequence I've ever gone through. That's pretty different, man. Yeah, it's like I'm having a double life. All right. It's well, weird. You, your subconscious is going to do what it's going to do, so... I don't know what my subconscious is doing right now. It's confusing the fuck out of me. You repented of tarot cards? Yeah, if, if it's unclean to you, it's unclean. You know? Whatever's clean to the to the brother or sister in Christ is, is not to the next. That That's what Paul said. Okay. You don't judge for that stuff. You really don't. I don't really do tarot cards. I just... No. I just want fucking answers. And I ain't getting any answers from anyone anymore. I'm just, like, waiting. You're in a waiting room. I, I am in constant waiting. And, and, and frankly, I don't think I have the patience for it anymore. <clears throat> yeah. That's why I got pissed off and was like, I'm calling this goddamn doctor. I'm sick of waiting on you. Yeah, ass. there you go. Oh, please, Jesus, can you find a way to stop my hips and back from, like, k killing me? No, I can't make any appointment with any psych doctor yet because I, I, I got to have 50 bucks to pay him. Yeah, I still have to do that $50. We could do that. No, we can't do that. We could. Um... It's fine. Is fine. I'm, I'll figure it out. I'm surviving. It's, I don't have I'll any figure it out. major crisis or anything. It's fine. Oh. Well, I could say you're doing better on your mental health than you have in a long time, though. You're doing a lot better than you were. Yeah, that's true. So that, give yourself some brownie points for that. Baby. Well, I am, yeah, because I'm dealing with it with basically nothing. Yeah, and you're doing good, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I'm always here for you, baby. I'm here for you, too. Yeah, I encourage her all day, Drag. I really do. I do my best to keep her spirits high. You know? Just right now, I just, I am not having a good time. My body is hurting bad. I know. I know. I, I wish I, I wish I could cuddle with you. I'd like to cuddle. Would well, you want to say bye to them for now? Yeah, we could say bye. All right. I'm gonna rub and cuddle my girl. 
because Shani needs her rubbins, and she's a good girl. And we love her. And we love you guys. Thank you so much for everything you've done to help us. You made Christmas really pretty cool, you know. Thank you so much. God bless all you guys, all right? We'll see you later on at some point, I don't know.